11 bed, or you probably 14 bed. I don't know, you got nine beds. Uh, you back there, you probably have about seven or eight beds. I think I got about 12 beds myself. And um, at any time I could start to break those down and people it, come into a society with a different amount of beds in their back pocket. <clears throat> but believe me, even if you have 12, you can lose those very quickly, depending on how uh, quickly uh, uh, <clears throat> an event accelerates or decelerates in, in whatever way, and all of a sudden you find yourself left with the one bed, and it's the one at the Salvation Army. And soon, uh, you may lose that one too. So when you're walking around, you just think about those 10 beds you got in your back pocket, because at any time, you could only have five. Seven of them could be taken away by the state, by your employer, by um, a, an offense that you've done. You could uh, make a mistake of having too many beers at the aisle and driving home and, and killing somebody. Uh, at any time, any of these things could happen to you. So. Um, and, th and the other part is that sometimes the most seemingly inconsequential of decisions, whether I go left and right, crossing this road can have the most significant of effects on our lives. And don't forget that. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, all your thoughts. I would say that uh, who's most at risk of homelessness in your genre? Certainly there's a disproportionate uh, representation of Aboriginal people. Our general population is about 13% of Aboriginal people. A lot of organizations, it's anecdotal, but a lot of organizations probably see between 80 and 90% of their, their uh, the people they serve, uh, Aboriginal population. Um, I think we dig into that a bit. A lot of that actually is a residue of the work from the residential school system. Uh, we hear a lot about how that experience relates to individuals' challenges, but we also have to remember that part of the leftover residue, if we could say, uh, again, what was an attack, I don't know if I should say attack, but like, there's individual issues at residential schools, but also there's community issues, right? We talk about poverty and homelessness as a failure of the community. Well, to be clear, like, the residential school system have a major effect, not only on individuals, but on community, right, and family. Um, I'm sure Janet will get to this, but uh, how poverty looks different for women and children than men. When we do our pit count in May, the presumption is we'll find 10 to 1 men to women uh, living on the street, but those other nine women, it's not that they're less homeless, but their homelessness will look different uh, than it does for men. It might not be street homelessness, it might be uh, being stuck in a bad relationship, that sort of thing. 